If this is your first time watching my videos, uh, this my name is Lance, and I uh, discuss price action and uh, relevant, you know, cultural or financial topics, and apply that to uh, price action. So pretty much, I try to find price action in everything, uh, and I discuss those things. Uh, well, some of those things in my videos. But what I've been doing lately is doing markups of non-cyclical stocks. So stocks that perform well, uh, pretty much regardless of uh, market condition uh, in general, of course, um, these tend to be your value stocks. So uh, today I'm going to talk about Anthem. Uh, and before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see me mark up another ticker uh, and leave that ticker in the comment section or you can email me with any any questions that you may have about what it is that I do or any of my offerings. My latest offering, uh, I partnered with By the Hood University and we dropped a part two to my introduction to price action uh, course. Uh, so part two goes deeper into price action, um, volume and things like that. And also has a trading psychology segment. So make sure you stop by and pick that up. Uh, or at least give it a look. Uh, the link to that course is in the description box, uh, as well as some of my other offerings. Um, I also do one-on-one -on -one consultations. If 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 that's something that you're more, uh, if that's more your preferred learning style, so you can uh, inquire with me about that via email. Um, and my email is also in the description box. But let's go ahead and talk about Anthem. So before I get into the price action on Anthem, uh, I will give a disclaimer that I do own shares of this stock. Um, th of course, this is not any sort of investment advice or anything like that, but just wanted to put that out there. Um, of course, you know, for any investment advice, please consult a uh, licensed professional. And um, yeah, so yeah, I own shares of this stock and I've been buying since uh, probably 2017, late 2017, something like that. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about, you know, what's been going on with Anthem's price action. So if you don't know anything about Anthem um, or uh, this space, uh, Anthem is what's called an MCO. Uh, and that MCO stands for Managed Care Organization. So long story short, what's happening in the Medicare and Medicaid space is insurance companies are coming in and they are managing uh, those resources on behalf of state and federal governments um, to uh, make the programs more e run more efficiently. So uh, that's that's pretty much it um, in a you know short and compressed, easy to understand uh, description of you know some of some of these companies' uh, offerings. Of course, Anthem isn't the only one. You got Humana. Uh, you got um, United Healthcare. Uh, and a plethora of other companies that do, you know, the very same thing. But this is Anthem's uh, yearly chart over the life of uh, its public um, status as a, as a publicly traded company. So you can see it's a bearish trend here on this uh, yearly chart. Um, you can see where I've done some markups in the past. So I'm just going to delete those because uh, that was more so a uh, markup that I did based on a short, uh, not necessarily a short swing trade, but a, uh, a swing trade um, last year, I think it was. Um, so yeah, uh, bullish on the, um, for the overall trend, um, and this is more so uh, the, that overall trend that um, I'm referring to. So you can see that, um, the company has or the price action has pretty much remained above this white trend line uh, once in 2020 when COVID happened it fell below that and quickly recovered um, and it's been you know going ever since and um, I feel like you know it's a possibility that it might start leveling leveling out a little bit 
Uh, but, you know, it's too early to tell, especially on a yearly chart. But let's get into the uh, monthly chart. All right, so monthly chart, you can see, you know, the same thing that you see on the yearly chart. You can see where it uh, kind of moves and then it consolidates, then moves again. Uh, and lately, it's been pretty much moving. It's been on a tear since early uh, last year. Um, and I started buying uh, shares probably right around in here. And I've just bu been buying all along this uh, trajectory here. So um, one thing that, you know, and, and I've discussed this in other videos that um, I, you know, was thinking about was the fact that uh, at the time that I started buying, you know, healthcare was more so on the uh, underperforming side. Um, so, you know, technology was just going on a tear and things like that. And I didn't really want to chase or give chase to, you know, these tech, these technology companies. But for me, uh, of course, you know, having um, a large share of my portfolio be in, uh, you know, healthcare and things like that, with tech being in a bear market, I'm definitely, I've definitely started to um, mark up some of those tech stocks to see, uh, to see if, if, you know, they've reached certain buy points and things like that. Um, but uh, as you can see, Anthem's been running from this breakout uh, last March uh, from about 310, and now you, and you can see it hit 533 uh, last month. Um, so I think it's going to kind of start consolidating um, here in this area. And I'm just, I'm going to um, mark this area just to see so I can, you know, monitor the price action over the next, you know, several months or so. But I think it's probably going to start consolidating between that about a uh, little over 500 down to maybe about 450, possibly even lower, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, of course, you know, performance and, you know, market conditions and things like that do matter. Um, next earnings is in July, toward the end of July. Um, so, so far on the monthly chart, uh, it's it's been bullish as well uh, recently. But um, like I said, it, 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 uh, it has kind of struggled at this uh, 513 area um so actually i want to change this color because we're on the monthly chart and we're going to go with my usual dark blue for my monthly trend trend lines all right and so then i also want to let me get these out of the way Okay, so now we got, um, this is the, the more recent trend here on the monthly chart. So definitely uh, something I want to keep my eyes on um, moving forward because the price is, is, is approaching um, that area. So I'm going to do, you know, like my usual and uh, set, a, set an alert on this trend line just so I get a notification. And it's not necessarily... You know, I want to sell my stock at this point, you know what I'm saying? But just um, make some decisions, you know, at this at this uh, level. Um, so. OK, so I'll get a text message once uh, the price hits this level. Um, and again, like I said, it could, you know, just kind of consolidate. So, you know, we'll 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 see what um, what happens. Um, I'm also gonna just set an alert here. Um, and I don't think that well, unless it's earnings or something like that, unless they just, you know, blow earnings out of the water, I don't think that they're gonna, you know, break out so soon after um, such a strong run for over a year. But just to be on the safe side, because I don't, I don't typically monitor this stock on a day-to-day -day basis. 
um, it may be smart to say, you know, you know what, let me just go ahead and lock in some of these gains. Um, and, and that way some capital is protected. Um, and then, you know, if, if I want to, I can, you know, go in off of a dip and uh, purchase, you know, some more stock. But, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So got my major levels pretty much marked. Um, and uh, so it's, in my opinion, um, it's either going to go up or down, you know, um, probably, probably, you know, maybe going into next earnings or uh, after next earnings. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, it looks like, you know, this one tends to dip after July. Uh, so just that's just another um, that's just another after June or July really it looks like it it, it starts to uh, it takes a little dip going into the end of the year uh, so you know we'll keep it we'll keep an eye on that for sure um, a matter of fact I'm gonna just put a little note on my chart here So that's just something that I won't forget um, whenever I come back and look at my chart periodically. So let's move on to the uh, weekly chart. Let's see if we got any developments there. Uh, weekly chart, you can see where it's for the most part followed along that monthly trend where buying has come, come in here. But the markets have pretty much decided that above above roughly 500 this stock is too expensive so they're gonna have to pretty much show and prove you know in order for um, more buyers to come in at that $500 price point uh, but so far uh, the market start to sell you know when the when the when the price gets there uh, so you know as I said um, it looks like earnings is coming uh, July 7th or July 20th um, so we'll see what happens uh, going into uh, the that next earnings. So we got we got two months. Um, so we got a little while. So we'll see. Like I said, we'll see what happens. But again, I think that the price is gonna kind of it's starting to uh, kind of level out um, and consolidate a bit. Um, so again, maybe a a, a a nice little place to take profits um, or you know just kind of continue to buy off of a dip um, but that's something that I'm definitely going to think about um, over the next few weeks as we get as we move into the month of June um, I don't necessarily the the only really the only real pattern that I'm seeing here is a um, an ascending um, channel so uh, as you can see, the price action has mostly traded between these two trend lines, um, and the price appears to be headed for that monthly trend line. So um, I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but before it can even get to that weekly level, it's got to get over that monthly level hump. So it's going to require the price to get over a fi over 500 again. And uh, I already said, you know, my my gave my opinion on uh, that $500 level. Uh, so for now, that's 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 the sentiment. It's overall bullish, but a little bit um, unsure. Uh, and remember, and I'll say this every time that I see it: usually, uh, when the price is in an ascending or descending channel, you'll see some some consolidation before the price, you know, maybe transitions into. Um, uh, a bearish phase or it transitions back into some bullishness so we'll see if uh, if uh, anthems price action will follow that um, course of events uh, when it comes to price action um, let's take a look at the daily chart and I'm going to 
um, put my 50 and 200 on here and we'll go with we'll go with the year all right so you see the price is crossed below the 50-day moving average and it's testing it to the um, upside right now and, and not quite uh, been it hasn't been able to get back above this 50-day moving average since it fell below it um, several days ago so this this today could possibly be uh, a confirmation of a move down um, which you know fits with you know everything that I've talked about so far so if the price rejects this low 490s area I can see the price moving down uh, eventually toward about, you know, 460s or something like that. So I may keep an eye on this and do maybe a little paper trade uh, on the option side with this one um, uh, to see. Uh, and, and even if it if it doesn't uh, reject that for that low 490s, uh, we can see it move up into the, the mid to the mid to maybe 500. So about 495 to 5. 05 roughly um, and if it rejects there I think for sure it's gonna it's gonna sell off and move down uh, possibly to the mid uh, 40 400s area uh, but anyway um, my my uh, opinion is that you know it's gonna it's gonna move down uh, but uh, so we'll see we'll see um, I'm gonna check one more thing while I'm doing this video Yeah, yeah, so we'll see. Um, what else can I say about this one? Uh, nothing else really, you know. Um, I'm just, you know, if, if, if you are heavy in tech um, and you've been heavy in tech for a while, you're likely seeing um, large drawdowns in your accounts um, in your portfolio so definitely be thinking about how you can hedge um, and so my hope is that I'll find a good opportunity uh, with some of these non-cyclicals um, and as you can see they've already been running so you would have had to be well ahead of the game um, you know before this year even started um, and you know that's a trend that I'm seeing is that a lot of these non-cyclicals started running, you know, like last year and stuff like that. So um, either way, I think it's good to keep an eye on it because we're not out of uh, trouble waters yet as far as, you know, market and uh, economic conditions. Um, so, you know, always keep your eyes open on opportunities to um, hedge against your portfolio, whether your portfolio is doing well or whether it's not doing so well right now. It's always important um, to uh, manage uh, actively manage your portfolio but uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video and I really appreciate you watching um, and again if you have any tickers that you'd like for me to check out outside of this non-cyclical series I will be happy to do it and I'll see you guys later